November 14th and Specials Day 3. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the IB pledge. Today I pledge to do my best for myself and my school. I will listen and learn, I will contribute and work hard, and I'll always treat others with respect. Here's a special message from the Math Magician. Ho, 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 boys and girls. It's me, the Math Magician, and I'm so excited to be launching our eighth annual Deep Bell Toy Drive, which will begin at the end of this week. Boys and girls, I'm going to be placing two huge boxes, one by the yellow entrance and one by the red entrance, and we're going to bring in all of the brand new toys we can to fill these boxes. Boys and girls, this is a season that shows gratitude and giving. Let's show we're good IB students by looking around our homes and finding brand new things that we never ever opened. It could be from a birthday, or maybe it was from some other special occasion. Just something maybe that you were never really that interested in. And you can bring in, and you can bring in this toy, and you can put it in the toy boxes. Um, boys and girls, this is going to help so many families in our communities when they're shopping this year. They may be shopping for a family member, and this is going to provide a great way, because guess what? What happens to your, your gift once you give it? Well, the Deepwell creates this Santa's toy shop. And a lot of our families who maybe need a little help during the holidays can drive there and they can do some shopping for their family members. Now, I don't know if you remember last year, I showed you what happened to the toys after you donated them. Well, I'm gonna show it to you again. And some of you last year were really, really upset with me. Number one, because it looked like I didn't treat that shark very well that was in my passenger seat. Um, and I promise you this year, okay, even though he didn't get a seatbelt last year, I promise you that the toys that are gonna ride with me this year are gonna get a seatbelt. Every single one who's in the front seat, and you are right. Okay, boys and girls. So bring in those gifts, and here, I'm gonna show you this commercial from last year so you remember a little bit more about what happens to your toys once they're donated. All right, boys and girls, this year we're having Haven help us get to deep well. Haven needs to wear a seatbelt, so I'm gonna put her seatbelt on. And we've got a shark up front too. Man, we're all just gonna be going. All right, the shark's on his own, he won't fit. All right, here we go. donate a toy, it comes in here, we check to see if it needs batteries, and we kind of group the toys according to interest. And we baggy up some and put them together to make really nice um, gifts. Wow. Don't forget, Thursday is virtual STEM night. Have your parents sign up so you, 
so that you can get your STEM home kit. This Saturday is the Lantern Parade. H-H-I-E will walk in the parade. Me at Alder Beach Access at 5 o'clock. Bring your lantern you made in STEM class. Can't wait to see you there. Shout out to Lily for talking action. She led the Sherman class morning meeting. She explained how to not how best not to spread germs. Way to take action, Lily. Check out the third grade who participated in a STEM egg drop activity. Drop it! Drop it! Totally excited. Third grade students at Hilton and Island Elementary School are taking part in an egg drop challenge. It's a it's a it's a a the Hilton and Island Fire and Rescue were there to help out dropping the egg projects from 100 feet up in the air. The students worked hard using their engineering and design skills to build unique containers to protect their eggs. On the inside of my box, I put some cotton and some paper. The outside, we put a box and on the bottom of the box, we put a pool noodle so it absorbs some of the air. And on the top, we made a cardboard parachute. On the bottom of the box, we put bubble wrap the thick ones, and then inside we put um, like cotton, some bubble wrap, and then on the top I put a parachute. On the bottom we put a little balloon, and on the sides, like the corners of the box, we put like foam, and in the middle of the box we put like bubble wrap and paper on the sides, because if there's any air pockets, it's most likely to break. The students will soon be learning about force and motion, and their teachers thought this would be a great way to introduce the unit. The idea is to use the engineering process. The students had a problem, which was that UPS needed their help to construct the best package, and they were acting as consultants. So they planned and created their own projects using entirely their own materials from home. And they also tested it using fake Easter eggs. And after that, they modified it based on if their egg shifted or not. So ideally, this will lead to jobs in STEM fields in the future. And it really prepares them for those sorts of fields by following the engineering process. This is the first year the school has held an egg drop challenge. At Hilton and Island Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What is a turkey's favorite dessert? I don't know. Peach gobbler. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for today's show. I am Mateo. And I'm Kaylin. Have, Have a, a great day, day, Otters! Here's a special... I mean... <laughs>